like bullets fired from a gun, photos can be traced to individual smartphones, opening up new ways to prevent identity theft. This cyber security advancement will be very useful for the people who are not compatible with Face ID and other biometrics. A university at Buffalo led team of researchers has discovered how to identify smartphones by examining just one photo taken by the device. The advancement opens the possibility of using smartphones instead of body parts as a form of identification to deter cyber crime. Like snowflakes, no two smartphones are the same. Each device, regardless of the manufacturer or make, can be identified through a pattern of microscopic imaging flaws that are present in every picture they take. It's kind of like matching bullets to a gun. This new technology could become part of the authentication process like PIN numbers and passwords that customers complete at cash registers, ATMs and during online transactions. For people who have had their personal identification stolen, it could also help prevent cyber criminals from using that information to make purchases in their name. This new study centers on an obscure flaw in digital imaging called uh, PRNO, that is uh, Photo Response Non-Uniformity. Digital cameras are built to be identical. However, manufacturing imperfections create tiny variations in each camera's sensors. These variations can cause some of sensors millions of pixels to project colors that are slightly brighter or darker than they should be. Not visible to the naked eye, uh, this lack of uh, uniformity forms a systematic distortion in the photo called uh, pattern noise. Extracted by special filters, the pattern is unique for each camera. First observed in conventional digital cameras, PRNU analysis is common in digital forensic science. For example, it can help settle copyright lawsuits involving photographs. But it hasn't been applied to cybersecurity, despite the ubiquity of smartphones. Because extracting it had record analyzing 50 photos taken by a camera, and experts uh, do that uh, customers wouldn't be willing to supply that many photos. Plus, savvy cyber criminals can fake the pattern by analyzing images taken with a smartphone that victims post on unsecured websites. The study addresses how each of these challenges can be overcome. Compared to a conventional digital camera, the image sensor of a smartphone is much smaller. The reduction amplifies the pixel's dimensional non-uniformity and generates a much stronger PRNU. As a result, it is possible to match a photo to a smartphone camera using one photo instead of 50 normally required for digital forensics. The study discusses how such a system might work. First, a customer registers with a business such as a bank or retailer and provides that business with a photo that serves as a reference. When a customer initiates a transaction, the retailer asks the customer to photograph two QR codes presented on an ATM, cash register, or other screen. Using the app, the customer then sends the photograph back to the retailer, which scans the picture to measure the smartphone's PRNU. The retailer can detect a forgery because the PRNU of the attacker's camera will alter the PRNU component of the photograph. More savvy cybercriminals could potentially remove the PRNU from their device. But the researcher's protocol can spot this because the QR codes include an embedded probe signal that will be weakened by the removal process. The transaction is either approved or denied based upon these tests. The protocol defeats three of the most common tactics uh, used by cybercriminals, fingerprint forgery attacks, man-in-the-middle attacks, and replay attacks. It was 99.5% accurate in tests involving 16,000 images and 30 different uh, iPhone 6s smartphones and uh, 10 different Galaxy Note 5s smartphones.